for your dance party. First, you have to take two straws and try to pinch one to try to fit it in the other one that has a full hole. Then you push it in to make sure that it's nice and tight inside. Then you can bend and do the same thing to the other side. I want to use this card to make a bracelet. You can make a pattern, or you can just do the same color. This is how you make a straw crown. First, you're gonna need a long piece of tape. Put it sticky side up. Then you're gonna need some straws. You wanna cut the straws so they're all different heights. I'm using this one and putting it right here. Now I'm doing one that's shorter. I'm gonna make this one go up high so I don't need to cut it. You wanna line up the bottom of the scroll and the bottom of the tape. When you have all your scrolls down, you put down another piece of tape to hold them in place. And then voila, you have yourself a crown. Once you have all your straw decorations, you can dance. Shake, shake, shake up! Boom, 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 boom! We made shakers. Let us show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you need some recycled bottles. You can use glass or plastic, but make sure to clean out the bottle and it's all dry. Then you could fill your bottle with whatever you want. Different stuff will make different sounds. We have some beans, beads, rice, and pasta. Now I'm not gonna put too much because I don't want such a heavy sound. Let's try this out. Ooh, that's nice. I like that a lot. I'm gonna add some little beads so it doesn't make a, a boom, a boom, a boom. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put some of this nice pretty tinsel in the inside of my bottle. Do you think the tinsel will change the sound? Maybe. I'm gonna add some blue and silver ribbon. Tip. Don't fill it up all the way to the top because you want room for the things inside to shake. And then you put your cap on and seal it tight. And then you can decorate the outside too. I'm going to use some stars and smiley faces just to make it bling. I'm going to use some of these star stickers. Now these stickers are pretty. You can decorate it really any way you want. You can use ribbon, you could use duct tape. And that's how you make a shaker! This is how you make tutus. We made our own tutus. And we're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. This is how you make tutus. You start with a piece of ribbon. Then you lay it out on a table or a flat surface. The ribbon has to be long enough so it can tie around your waist. We have to tape it down because it can move around when we're threading it. Then you need some tool. This is tool. Tool is something that's a netting that they use to make tutus. You don't have to use just tool. You can use different stuff if you don't have tool, like newspaper, ribbon, wrapping paper, and fabric. You have to start with a long piece of tool. You have to fold the tool into even parts. This is the loop end. Put the loop end under the ribbon. Thread the long end through the hole. And then you kind of tighten it. 
and then you just keep adding tulle to make your tutu thick. You can use pink, blue, orange, red, any color. I love tutus because when I spin, all the strings just pop up and it looks like they're just breezing in the air. I love to dance. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. It's looking really good, but we just need to add a little more to make it more fuller. You can push the tool down to make it all together. I'm gonna add a ribbon. I have this flower ribbon. You do the same thing with the ribbon that you do with the tool. You fold it in half evenly, slip it through, then you pull it through and pull and ta-da. Once you have as much tool in your tutu as you want, you're done. We're taking off the tape from the table. Here, Here it, it is. is. And then you can just use the ribbon to tie it around your waist. And that's your tutu. How to make a water xylophone. Let me show you how to make one so you can play too. First you need water and glasses. It's important that all the glasses are the same size. So let's try it out. The less water there is in the cup, the higher the note is. The more water there is in the cup, the lower the note is. Now this is going to be the lowest note because it has the most water. Let's try the difference between this cup and this cup. You see the difference? Now let's try it between this one and this one. You see the difference there? Now let's try it between this one and this one. Let's add them all together. So then you keep experimenting until you have the sounds you want. Now I'm gonna use some food coloring just to make it colorful. The color doesn't really affect the sound, but it just makes it pretty. My favorite color is either blue or pink. Now let's test it out. That's how you make a water xylophone. And now, for the first ever water xylophone concert in the world, presenting Dun, 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 Abby! Hello, hello everyone, thank you. <laughs> thank you! How to play Old McDonald's Switcheroo! We're playing Old McDonald's Switcheroo. Here's how you play. You need a bowl full of picture cards. You can draw pictures or cut them out for magazines or even use stickers. The pictures can be anything, like a wild animal or food or something you play with. Just tape or glue the picture onto a card and then put the cards into a bowl. Let me pick one out. <laughs> I got a bowl. Now we need to think of a sound that a bowl makes and replace it from an animal for Old McDonald's. Bounce. I like that. Old McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a ball, E-I-E-I-O. With a bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, 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 bounce. Old McDonald's had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Your right. turn, Gisela. <laughs> okay. A robot. A robot? With the eh, eh, here, a, mm, mm, there, and a mm, mm, there. Oh, I like here, that. Mm, Everyone. <laughs> oh, McDonald's had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. With a bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce there. There are bounce, bounce here and a bounce, bounce my turn. <laughs> I 
got a door. A door? A door. <laughs> what about slam? What about with the E here and an E there? <laughs> and now slam. Yeah. E, e, e. Okay. okay. Old okay. McDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. Okay. And on that farm he had a door. E-I-E-I-O. With an E, e there and an E, e there. Here your E, E, E. How to make raisins dance. Dancing raisins! Dancing with the raisins! Dancing with the raisins! 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 Come on. We're going to show you how to make dancing raisins so you can play too. This is what you need to make dancing raisins. You need any type of clear fizzy drink, a glass, and you need raisins. First, you're gonna open the bottle and you're gonna put it halfway into the glass. Any liquid that's bubbly is called carbonated. Carbonated means that a certain type of gas was pushed into the liquid. As the gas comes out, it makes bubbles that flow up to the top. After that, you take your two smallest raisins that you can find and you can drop them into your fizzy drink. The bubbles attach themselves to the raisins and float it up to the surface. When the bubbles pop, the raisins sink back down to the bottom. And they're going up and down. And they're floating at the surface and I'm waiting for them to pop. <laughs> I made background so my raisins can dance on the stage. Rockets. Or you can dance like a raisin. Up and down, 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 up and down. Catch the bubbles up. How to wrap a nursery rhyme. We're wrapping nursery rhymes. We're going to tell you how to do it so you can play too. Yo, Mo Goose, give me a beat. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, and all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Yeah! That was awesome! Thank you. Now we're going to show you how to play. First you need nursery rhymes. And then you need a beat. I just flipped over this bowl. Just a nice and steady beat to go with the rhythm. I have two forks, and I'm adding a little more rhythm. After that, you just wrap your nursery rhyme to the beat. First, I'm getting a nursery rhyme. Which one did you get? I got Little Miss Muffet. Cool. Okay. Yo, Mo Goose, give me your beat. <laughs> Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. Along came a spider who sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. Woo! Got one. Which one did you get? It's a surprise. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's do it. Yo, Mo Goose, give me a beat. Jack and Jill went up the hill to fetch a pail of water. Jack fell down and broke his crown, and Jill came tumbling after. Yeah, Woo! that was awesome. Thank you. Mo Goose. Yo, Yo Mo Goose. Goose. Mo Goose. Yo, Mo Goose. Mo 